Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm Hey guys, it's me KC and welcome back to my channel So for today's video, I will share you guys my thoughts about these sunscreens You're gonna find these sunscreens on Style Korean You can now visit their page, it's on the description box below Okay guys, I have here six different sunscreens and I'm excited to show you and explain to you guys my experience using these products. First guys, before we go to the video, I want you to know some basics about sunscreens. And I'll also share some things that you should know before buying sunscreen. If you guys notice, I am looking here because my notes are here so I won't forget anything or something about the sunscreens that I will explain to you guys. So first, what are the difference between sunscreens and sunblock? First, sunblock is a physical protectant. It's on top of our skin and it blocks the sun rays by reflecting them. So it's a physical protection. It doesn't absorb by your skin. It's just a physical protection that you can put on your skin on top of it and then after that, you can immediately go outside without letting it set on your skin because it provides shield right after you applied it. Second one is sunscreen. What is sunscreen? So sunscreen is a chemical protectant. It absorbs and scatters sunshine before it can penetrate the skin. So sunscreen needs to be absorbed by your skin before going out. It can take 20 minutes to 30 minutes before going out. So the sunscreen really sets on your skin so that it will be effective. And you guys can notice that sunblock and sunscreen has SPF and PA++++ something. So the SPF or sun protection factor measures only UVB protection. While the PA rating or PA++++++ it only measures UVA protection. So the sunscreens that I will show you guys is ranked as lowest to highest ranked for me. It's my own opinion and my own experience. I don't know if this worked for you but this is my rating for them. Remember guys that not everything will work for you, work for me, and vice versa. So whatever my experience is, if you want to try it to go ahead, but this is my experience. So for the first one, this is the Jumi So Waterful Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen. So this is a hybrid sunscreen. It says that it can block both UVA and UVB rays because it has SPF and PA rating. It is a water-based sunscreen and this is perfect for all skin types. It was said to the description that it is perfect for all skin types. And if you are pregnant, please consult your OB before using any skincare product so you know if it's okay for you to use. And now guys, I will share my review about this product. This product is the thickest of all. For me, this is heavy but like after 2-3 to three minutes, nawawala naman siya. Nawawala yung heaviness niya. One more thing, I didn't like this that much because it has a sting and it shocked me. As in, when I applied it on my face, I really felt the sting. I don't know if it's because of the hyaluronic acid. I don't know. I also think that it's because of my pimples. Right now, guys, I am breaking out that much. And what I don't like the most is the white cast. It has a solid white cast. This is the product that has the most or has the visible white cast of all of these products. Buti na lang nung nilagay ko to, I applied it under my makeup. I have a darker shade of setting powder na pwede kong ilagay sa ibabaw so it balances the color and it eliminates the white cast on my face. But for the scent, I don't have anything to say about the scent. It doesn't have a strong scent. It doesn't have any scent at all. Next product is the Innistri Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This has SPF 50, PA 4 pluses, and it has an 8-layer hyaluronic acid 
for oil moisture balance. It is anti-aging, skin barrier strengthening, skin soothing, and long-lasting. Sabi rin nila dito, this is moisture gentle sunscreen. And now guys, let's go to my review. First of all, this is lightweight sunscreen. I think it's because this is a watery sun gel. Watery sun gel is very perfect or perfect to skin types that is oily skin like me. Personally, I don't want wearing heavy sunscreen on my face especially because after two or three hours my skin felt thick and sticky and whatsoever that it's uncomfortable so i love wearing this because this is lightweight and it's not too thick like what i said earlier this has hyaluronic acid so but this time i only felt this thing on the dry parts of my face like beside the nose under my mouth here sobrang konti lang nung nafeel kong sting unlike doon sa unang sunscreen natin. So, ayun, okay naman siya for me. And lastly, this has slight white cast only. Third one is the Beauty of Hosen Relief Sun Rise and Probiotics. Sabi dito, it has SPF 50, PA 4 pluses. This has a light cream formula. And the moist cream formula allows for fresh absorption without piling or white cast. Remember it guys, without piling or white cast. This has rice extract na 30% plus green probiotics complex. It also contains green fermenting lysate ingredients which helps nourish the skin's natural strength. And this is an organic sunscreen. And for my review guys, I want to share that this has a thick consistency but it is a lightweight when it sets because it sets fast. I think it's a bit heavy before setting because it is a cream formula but it's okay for me because this has no white cast at all. As in, wala siyang white cast and I love it for that. I can wear this every day without putting any foundation at all and I just want my face to be bare but I have a sun protection on my face. I love this so much because this doesn't have a white cast at all. One more thing, this is very moisturizing and I like it too. And last but not the least, um, this has a bit sting on my face but I only felt it here on my chin and the rest wala na akong na feel na iba so this is okay for me so i chose this to be um here on this level later on guys you will understand why i just put this on this level even though wala siyang white cast or okay yung performance niya so next sunscreen tayo for the next sunscreen this is the etude house sun price mild airy finish this has spf 50 pa4 pluses anti-greasy and sticky for smooth application. Ang sabi rin dito, this has 100% mineral filter, softly applied on sensitive skin. So, this is okay for sensitive skin. And the next one, it has a UV milk that provides long-lasting UV protection with 100% mineral-based mild ingredients for sensitive skin. So, this is the best or should I say, in this batch, the best sunscreen for sensitive skin. And for my review, guys, I want to share that this is a super liquidy um, sunscreen. So, you have to shake it before using. Kasi most of um, super liquid or liquidy to watery consistency is yung kanyang ingredients is nagkakahiwalay or napupunta sa baba yung ibang ingredients, yung iba napupunta sa taas. So, you have to shake it very well before using it. So, ma-distribute lahat hat ng ingredients niya and ma even out before putting it on your skin so you can get the best the most out of it and because this is a watery consistency i like it because this is super lightweight sunscreen and this is the most lightweight sunscreen that i've tried it doesn't have any sting at all it's very comfortable on my face so i like it this doesn't have any smell too but this has a slight white cast personally because i'm morena uh white cast doesn't work well on my face and i have a textured skin so white cast really emphasizes my um my pimples my dark marks and whatsoever our second to the last one product is the mary and may sika soothing sun cream this is my um most favorite one in cream sunscreen or the liquid sunscreen that i've tried because guys this is very moisturizing this is moisturizing whitening and anti-aging and i liked it because i have so many products from Mary and May. They are a clean brand because they are cruelty-free and vegan product. This has a Sika and niacinamide, so it works well on sensitive skin too. And for the review of this sunscreen, guys, I want you to know that this is my favorite of all sunscreens that I've tried in this batch because 
This is super lightweight on my skin. I nearly don't feel that I wear sunscreen at all. This has mid consistency because it's not too thick and not too watery at all. I didn't felt any sting at all on my face. It's super comfortable on my face. It sets perfectly on my face. It is moisturizing and this doesn't have white cast at all. So I like this so much. And for the last product, this is Tokobo Cotton Soft Sun Stick. This has SPF 50 PA4 pluses. Their description says that it contains herb AC complex and it calms sensitive skin and takes care of skin problems. It controls sebum secretion. This is a vegan sun stick. Before seeing this sunscreen, I don't have any ideas that sunscreen can form into a sun stick also. For me, I don't think that it is the best product to use because it is a stick. I don't know if it secretes all the ingredients, all the moisture all the you know the benefits for sunscreen so but i want you to know guys that this is my most favorite sunscreen of all because this is very best for application personally i don't really reapply my sunscreen so i want to use two to three fingers for the whole day already and this sun stick is best product for me because i can now reapply any anytime i want i can bring it and reapply any of any time of the day because this is super easy to apply it is light yung feeling niya sa face is may primer because it's silicone when you applied it actually i applied it before i i do my makeup but i want you to share i want you to know how i apply it on my face so this is my face i have makeup i have powder i have a full face makeup right now this is okay on the top of your makeup it is a firm sunscreen that you can apply on your on the top of your makeup so you just have to do this and look at that it doesn't move my makeup at all and you can really feel that it is working because you can you can feel or when you touch your face you can feel that it has product on the top of your face but it is very lightweight if if you don't touch it it is very lightweight on your skin Actually, para na siyang wala talaga, parang walang nakalagay sa mukha mo. Pero when you touch it, it's it feels silicone. That's why I I told you kanina na para siyang may primer effect. Once again, this is best for reapplication and it doesn't sting at all. Hindi ako naging uncomfortable no inapply ko to and wala rin siyang stickiness. For me, this is the best product if you want to reapply your sunscreen and you want to bring your sunscreen with you without um, thinking na baka, mag, uh, baka bumukas yung sunscreen nyo like this one or yung nakalagay sa tube. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned about this sunscreen and enjoyed my review. Um, take note guys, once again, hindi po ako expert. I just knew sunscreen dahil sa TikTok and ngayon pa lang po ako nag um, nagso-search about sunscreen and kung gaano ka important ng sunscreen and nung nalaman ko siya sobra sobra akong na alarm na kailangan ko pala talaga mag sunscreen kaya ayon i'm sharing this to you guys so you know kung ano yung mga ilalagay niyo sa face niyo or kung ano yung magiging idea niyo if ever you want to purchase your own sunscreen on style korean so this products guys are all available on start on style korean so if you want to buy something for yourself or some Korean products for yourself, I'll just put the in the description box all the links that uh, this has. So that's all guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next video and spread your wings as wide as you can. Bye!